Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new NECA Black and White First Turtles 2-Pack. So before we take a look at the small turtle and his accessories, let's go ahead and take a look at the large turtle and his. So first up, he comes with a set of open hands. Up next, he comes with the folded nunchucks that attach right here at the wrist. You get the real chain, which looks really nice, and you can remove these if you want. But one thing I noticed is that the red is rubbing onto the plastic up in here, so that does scare me a little bit. If these touch the white plastic, then the red could rub off on there, and that's a scary thought to me. Before I switch the hands out, you can see where that red has scuffed the plastic on the inside right here, or stained it, I should say. It's scuffed it and stained it. So that is unfortunate. Up next, he comes with accessory holding hands. Up next, he has his swords, but you can put any of these accessories in the pack in either of the turtle's hands. This time, they're done in black, white, and red, and that looks fantastic. I love the little black outline in between the red. That looks really good. I am afraid, though, if I switch these accessories out very much, that it will stain the white hands red. Um... It doesn't feel like it's very tight, so I don't think it'll scuff or stain it, but that's definitely something you want to be careful of with this bright white plastic. Up next, you get the size, just like with the swords, they're done in black, white, and red, and the black outline came out very clean. I love the way that looks. Up next, you get the standard head sculpt that's on him in the packaging, and this looks really good, but the bandana on mine has multiple places where the white is showing through, so that is unfortunate. It is scuffed up. It is minor, but it is enough to notice, so that does bother me. And finally, you get the alternate angry head sculpt. And this is the head sculpt I prefer to leave on the figure. It just looks really good. You get the gridded teeth, the black outline on the bandana. The red with this black and white just really pops, and that looks really good. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the figure. So this is just a simple repaint, but I think it's very effective. I think NECA did a phenomenal job on this. I think this looks a lot more like a sketch. It really looks like the sketch jumped off the page and into plastic form from NECA. They did a really good job at redoing these in black and white colors, and the touches of red just really make the figure pop. I love the way it looks. Here the black and white large turtle is next to the collared one from SDCC. And both look really good, but I think this one actually looks a lot better. As I said, I just love the way it looks like an actual sketch. NECA did a really good job at uh, repainting these. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So he has a ball-jointed head and neck that can look all the way up. He can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side very nicely and around just a little bit. The bandana does swivel around back here, but it does hit on the shell so it can't go all the way around. He has shoulders that can move out that far. You get single jointed elbows that can bend in that far. A swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down. And one thing I wanted to mention is that all of the joints on this figure are cast in this like off white collar. The white is painted over top of it, but the more you move this figure around, the more that it's going to chip off. Underneath my camera, there's so much paint that's flaked off, and it does suck that it's cast in such an off collar because it's very noticeable, especially down here on the ankle joints, so you'll see that in a second. So he has ball-jointed hips that can only move out that far. You could force him back just a little more. He can kick forward all the way. He can't kick back at all. He has a swivel at the thigh, a swivel at the tail, very tight joint and ankles that can move down all the way and now you can see that off-white collar that the joints cast in I'm glad that NECA painted white over top of that but if you bend the joint then that looks terrible uh, it can move up all the way and then side to side here so now let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller turtle and the accessories that you can give him so first up the smaller turtle comes with a set of open hands you also get the nunchucks without the chain right here. And just like on the large turtle, these are removable if you want. But they're also staining the joint up in here red. Up next, you get accessory holding hands. Up next, you get the baton. Sculpted very nicely, this time done in black and white, of course. Up next, you get the set of nunchucks. And these look very nice. They have real chain on them, and that looks great. And I am going to have to run some wire up through these. I like adding wire to all of the uh, Ninja Turtle figures I have that have real chain. That way I can make them poseable and pose them the way I want for pictures. That adds so much to a figure by wiring these. 
Up next, you get the spinning nunchuck effect, which, just like with the collar turtles, this has to be one of my favorite effects pieces that we've got with a Ninja Turtle figure. It looks very nice, and I love how they did the uh, lighter red right here in between the darker red of the nunchuck for it to look like it's spinning. That looks fantastic. And it does swivel, so if you want it up like this or back like this, you can do that. Either way, it looks really cool. Up next, you get the staff. And this looks really good, especially the black paint right here in between the grip. All of those black lines came out very clean, and that looks very nice. Up next, you get this standard head sculpt. And finally, you get the angrier teeth gritting head sculpt. And just like with the larger turtle, I like this head sculpt the best. It looks phenomenal. All of the black painted lines right here in the bandana, and even the black line underneath here looks very good. NECA did a very awesome job on this head sculpt. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this figure. So just like with the larger turtle, this is just a repaint of the collar version, and it looks just as nice. I think NECA did such a phenomenal job on this, if you want to see this side by side with the collar version. One thing I forgot to mention with the larger turtle is that all of the black lines are in the same places, so the black lines are exactly the same. You get all of the same sculpted textures right here on the shell. They're done in the same outline of black, but this time the shell is done with white, with black in between the ridges right here. This just looks really good. NECA did a really good job on this. It's a simple repaint, but I think it looks so much better than the color versions. As I said, this actually looks like a sketch as opposed to this one. So now let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this turtle. So you get articulation back here at the bandana that spins all the way around. He can look up all the way. He can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side and all the way around. He has shoulders that move out very slightly. They are very hindered. And they feel very brittle. He has single jointed elbows that can bend in that far. A swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down. And one thing I forgot to mention is it does look like the joints on this one are cast in that off-white color as well. It's just not as noticeable because the joints on this one aren't flaking as bad as on the larger turtle. He has ball-jointed hips that can move out that far. He can kick forward slightly, back slightly, a very nice swivel of the thigh, single-jointed knees, swivel ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, a nice rocker, and a tail swivel. So now, let's do a size comparison. So for the only size comparisons, here the black and white first turtles are next to the color ones from San Diego Comic Con. So overall, despite these being repaints, I think NECA did a phenomenal job on these. I am pleasantly surprised with them, and now that I have them in hand, I definitely think these are better than the colored ones. The black and white and red just really pop together and look phenomenal. If you're wanting to find these, these are only being found at Walmart at the moment. I'm not sure if they are a Walmart exclusive, but I will put the UPC up right here, so hopefully it can help you find it at Walmart. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.